Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy everyone is here today. Today, we're gonna be opening this really fun set of custom cake creations Disney pins. So this is a mystery pin set they came out with recently. And there are eight pins that we can collect from this series. And they're all princess themed little cakes, which is very fun. So there is Belle, Jasmine, Rapunzel, Cinderella, Meg, which I thought was very interesting that they were including a Meg as a princess in a princess series because she's not technically a princess, but I love to see it. And then also Ariel, my favorite princess, Tiana and Snow White. I am hoping to collect the entire collection. We have seven boxes and there are two pins to collect in each box. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see who we've got. It's mystery time. Oh, okay, so these are a little bit smaller than I had anticipated. I thought they were gonna be a lot larger. Um, that's why it's so hard when they moved their um, images to the side of the boxes to actually see what you are getting. Oh, I love this pin. I'm a huge fan of Cinderella in her pink dress and I love this so much. So we've got her pink dress on the bottom also with the details of the measuring tape, which is so fun. In my craft room, I actually have a pin board that is themed to everything, uh, creative, sewing, painting, you name it. So I have a bunch of specialty pins just for that. And then at the top represents the blue dress with the little glass slipper. So for those of you who collect pins, here is the back of the pin. It does have a double pin back, which is kind of fun. And let's go ahead and place it onto our board as our first pin. Oh, exciting. Okay. And then next, let's see who we've got. Okay. Fingers crossed for Ariel. <gasps> we have Meg, but you know what? I think this is so fun. So we've got the symbol of the gods at the top. We also have clouds and sky. Then they have the like theming of the terracotta pots that are in the beginning of the film. So when the muses are singing, we've got that amazing white flower that is very symbolic in the film that Meg has. And then also the details and colors of her dress, along with some really cool columns and the beautiful little ivy, or I can't remember what exactly plant it is, but, um, it's what Hercules wears traditionally around his head. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love this. So my best friend collects Hercules. This is definitely going to be heading down to her as a gift because she has got to have this unique pin. What a cool, cool pin. Okay, let's move into box number two. These pins are so very unique. I love that they have so much detail from the film. They almost like tell a story with each of these. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Well, over here on the channel, when we get a duplicate, we bring in our trusty friend Flounder. So here is Flounder. It means that we have floundered and we have another duplicate Meg pin, which actually is probably okay because I can send that one down to my best friend and then I can have one for my collection. So all is not lost, but let's hope for not having a duplicate box. So let's see which pin is next. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. We have got a stunning Tiana cake. Oh my gosh, I love this. So we've got a Florida de lis pattern on the top. Very New Orleans, very Mardi Gras-esque. Beautiful, beautiful flowers, just like the flowers on Tiana's dress. This actually symbolizes Tiana's dress down here. It even has little Mardi Gras beads. Can you see like the Mardi Gras bead detail on each of the layers? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. What a fun, fun series this is. I love all of the details of this. I would love to know which princess you would like to see in this series because I kind of feel like there were some princesses that were missing. Like Mulan. Where was Mulan? Ooh, or Moana. You know what's really interesting is on the front of this box, it actually shows Mulan and Moana. Huh. 
Huh. I wonder why that is. Okay, next we have, oh no, we floundered. <laughs> we have another Tiana cake, that's okay. Let's move on to the next one and see who we've got next. We've got, ooh, a new one. Okay, fun, so we have Jasmine. Oh, the top is the magic lamp, which is so fun, plus little smoke billowing all the way down, maybe whip topping, we're not sure what it is. A silhouette of the Agrabah castle is there. Also, really, really beautiful details that you would find on her outfit are here. Lots of little flowers going up the cake. So stunning. I'm very excited because in the springtime, we will actually be going to the Broadway version of Aladdin. It's actually coming to my hometown, which is super fun. So we're gonna be able to see that for the first time. I've never seen it on Broadway. So it'll be, or like the Broadway style show. So I'm very excited to see that. Okay, who do, we, oh my goodness. <sighs> We've got my girl Ariel. So we have a really beautiful cake that is topped with seashell, a seashell bra. Then it is her fins and then we go under the sea. Sea stars, seashells everywhere, plus seaweed. Look at the little bubble details and also even shells on the plate to represent the under the sea theme. <gasps> what a stunning pin. I have a massive Little Mermaid pin collection and um, that will definitely be added to it right away. <laughs> Next, who do we have? Bang. <gasps> Ooh, <gasps> that is stunning. We have a flower gleam and glow. Let your power shine flower. I don't know what that flower is called, but we have the flower gleam and glow flower. We also have hair braided on each tier, which is so fun. The Corona Sun, plus the light pink and purple that's found in Rapunzel's outfit, and a little white and yellow layer cake inside. Ah! I think the only thing that could have really, really made these better is glitter. Like, don't you think that they are missing glitter? It just seems like they need glitter in their lives. Maybe that's just my own personal opinion, thinking everything needs glitter in their life, but who knows? Okay, next, let's see who we've got. We actually only need a few more. We're just missing Belle and Snow White. That's it. So send some pixie dust towards this awesome little pin set, and let's see who we have. I just rip open these boxes. I'm so bad. I probably should preserve them, but I just don't. All right. Oh no. Okay. So we have floundered again. We got another Meg and then we have, oh no, another Tiana. We have so many Tianas today. Okay. Send this one some pixie dust. Come on. <gasps> okay. Okay. We have a new one. So this one I thought was very odd. The coloration is a little bit off to me, but maybe not. Uh, maybe it's just in my opinion. But on the top, we've got a rose. Then we've got some stained glass, more roses for Belle. And then you get to this tier and I'm like, what is this about? And then I was like, oh, okay. Her father like kind of tinkers around. Also there's Cogsworth. So I think that this represents like her dad. I think this represents Maurice more than anything. What do you guys think? I am kind of leaning towards this being like the Maurice layer of the cake, um, especially because um, the colors don't really match Cogsworth, like the red and the brown. I guess the red and the brown don't really match Maurice either because he's got a green outfit on. I don't know, guys. It's just an interesting choice for Belle. I do love how unique it is, though, because I think that if I were a Belle collector, a Beauty and the Beast collector, I would love this pin because it is so unique. So I do have appreciation for it, for sure. So now the only cake that, oh, that was crooked. Oh, well, that's okay. The only cake that we are missing is Snow White. Oh my gosh. Okay, pixie dust, pixie dust, pixie dust. All right. Boink. Oh no, Tiana. Oh my gosh, we're getting cursed by Tiana. I love Tiana, but come on, girl. We need Snow White too. How many Tianas do we have? Four? <laughs> oh well, that's okay. Okay, one more, one more. One more box. Okay, send it pixie dust, guys. Send it pixie dust. Okay. 
Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh my goodness, you guys. We have finished this collection. How amazing! That very rarely happens, especially in pin unboxings. Let's start at the top. So we've got an apple. Then we have her sleeve detail and then her headband detail. Then we go into the representation of all the doors. Is that all the doors? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, the details. Seven layers on this layer. How cool is that? Oh my goodness, Disney. And then all the little jewels to represent the mine. And then the bottom layer, obviously, is Snow White's dress. How cool is that? Brown and red cake in the middle. And look, even her slice of cake that's off to the side has little jewels on it. Oh, that's so fun. That is super duper fun. Oh my gosh, you guys, we did it. Do we want to open this last one just for fun? What do we bet that it is a Tiana? <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? Oh my gosh, guys, who did? Who is it? Is it Tiana? Oh, it's Ariel. Okay, well, that's not so bad. <laughs> we'll go ahead and put Ariel in the flounder bin. So here is one last overview of all of these beautiful cake pins. I think these are so cool. I'm so excited. I think this might be the first pin collection that we have actually finished. I'd love to know which one of these is your most favorite. I love Love, love this Cinderella one as well as Meg and also Ariel. These are definitely going to be added to my personal pin collection. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to be subscribed down below. And I am so excited to open so many more mysteries with you in future videos. I will see you all in the next one. TTFN. Bye.